Well, dude, Teller Knights 2018, but it doesn't really matter because we're about to OT camp next turn with the new Hydra Sworn. So we're using the Hydra Lander. It's a it's a newer card that works quite well in Light Sworn for many many different reasons. But let's go ahead and get started with a Solar Recharge now. Uh, Fairy Tail Snow is an excellent, excellent card, as you guys will see in combination with uh, this build variant. We do have Illumina, do we have Raiden too? Ooh, Illumina and a Raiden right there, and a discard Snow, that is huge. Um, I mean, shoot, I, I could, I wanna, I wanna see if I can make a game this turn. So we're gonna go ahead and Desires, oh, drawing into double Snow, oh my, there's too many, too many, man. Too many, but uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and go for the Illumina. Uh, we do not need this many fairy tale snows, <laughs> that's for sure. But uh, we'll go ahead and go for Raiden. Again, Raiden's effect. Ooh, another wolf. That's, that's great. Because now, we can go ahead and. Ooh, we have Hydra in the grave. We have one, two. Um, I can reincarnate. I would have to reincarnation. I'm not even kidding, guys. I'd have to reincarnation for a wolf. Actually, or I could just detach right in. So we only have one right in, right? Alright, so yeah, we have... Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. I actually don't have to reincarnation for wolf. I just have to just put right in, in the grave. Red and activate that effect. Ooh, drawing some extra cards. That's... He got kind of dirty, but this deck is all about doing the dirty. Alright. Because... Well, at this point, it's probably... Oh, we have triple... We have triple right in. Okay, so... That's not that bad because I can still banish... For, uh, for snow. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see what else we can uh, get. Because right now, guys, our goal is to try to get... Obviously, we're trying to get an OTK here. But we also need to focus in on having monsters with uh, different uh, names in uh, the graveyard. Because you, you have to not control... Oh, gosh. We're going to have too many monsters at this point. All right. So we have... Okay, so I just need to... Raiden is the only one. Okay, so I just have to get rid of Raiden, and we're pretty much a okay on this. So I mean, I can can I I can't special summon Judgment Dragon yet. All right, this deck, guys, is so dirty. I, even though I had Triple Snow, which you actually don't really want. Let's be honest here. Uh, so we can't have Triple Raiden. So we're gonna go ahead and banish Double Raiden. You can only have one copy of each monster in the graveyard. That is our goal. These are all fields. Okay, so then rest they can all be those, like spells. It's just you don't want. Uh, multiple copies. I'm just gonna double check. Oh, we, we actually, oh, that's Monster Zone. All right, we're good. We can just go ahead and just banish that. And then we're gonna go ahead and Special Summon Fairy Tail Snow. We can also Book a Moon. I mean, look look at this hand. I, I mean, I kind of sacked him in there with Minerva, but I mean, oh wait, we, oh wait, what do we have that's, uh, oh, we got four. We need to get, we need to get, oh, if we put the Minerva, we're gonna have too many. Uh, actually, we only have Okay, it's fine. I can I can still monster incarnation, but we're getting we're getting the land lander out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use Minerva, and we, we can still technically have Snow in the grave. We just need to go for something. Yeah, this is my only Felice. Okay, I just I can go for we can go for Black Luster. All right, we're gonna go for BLS. All right, because it's my favorite card. So yeah, we can go for these. Um, and then do we have Judgment Dragon? Yeah. Now now we have J Judgment Dragon. Okay. And then we also need to... Gosh, I'm going to run out of time. So I have to... Monster Reincarnation. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of Raikou, because I, I know I only play one Raikou. We have to go for a Wolf, because we can't have multiple copies of the same uh, card. You have to have five monsters with uh, different names. And then now we're going to go ahead and special summon the Hydra Lander. Now we can activate its effect to uh, pop... We don't, well, we don't need to... I guess we can activate it. It is a quick effect. Be able to pop a card now. As long as you uh, before he has a mirror force, this would be actually hilarious. <laughs> but the whole point is to show you guys how cool this deck is. So um, we activate this effect, but we got uh, too many monsters with the same name. In fact, we had two Hydra Landers here. So you guys can see how this deck kind of works. You're banishing cards, so you have exactly uh, just non-double names is what you need. Anyways, uh, we have, we still have our normal summon this turn. Wow, I just realized that. After all that, guys, we still had our normal summon. All right, I think we got this, unless he's got Battle Fader. We good. Oasis of Dragon Souls. All right, so he's going to go ahead and target a monster, summon it, whatever. All right, uh, we got the BLS. It's going to go ahead and banish. 
card. So he's going to go ahead and activate that. Uh, Alright, so we were going to use Lila and... Uh, should we go for? I mean, oh no, dude, come on! <laughs> All right, but you guys get the idea uh, at this point, hopefully, of how this deck works. So um, let me go ahead and go over the deck profile and talk a little bit about it. And it's a pretty simple concept, but you, you technically, I opened up like kind of good and but kind of bad at the same time. Like you don't want triple fairy tale snow, all right? But I mean, it didn't really matter what he was playing. This deck is a very OTK heavy deck. It could be a brick. I will, I will say that there are possibilities and chances of that happening. Uh, just like any Light Sworn deck can just happen. Um, but anyways, let me go ahead and talk a little bit about it and why I wanted to try it. Well, one, it was a new card and I haven't seen it before. And someone else summoned it. I was like, what the heck is this? Um, so to summon it, you have to have five or more monsters in your graveyard. And they cannot be any of the monsters with the same name. But you can have, you can have more than five. It doesn't really matter. But once per turn, as a quick effect, you get to send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard to destroy one card on the field. You must have at least two monsters in your graveyard and no monsters in your graveyard with the same name to activate and resolve this effect. So, what that means is, when I summon this card and I use its quick effect to send three extra cards to the graveyard, um, I would still need to, at the end of that effect, I still have to have no doubles of the monsters. So, at that point, you guys can understand... What you can do with it is also utilize Fairy Tale Snow to make sure that you have the exact names that you need, to basically not double up on stuff. It's a really simple concept, but it works really, really well. Um, Judgment Dragon might be kind of overkill to play like triple, 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 but eh, I figured I'd just go ahead and go all out for you guys. We actually ended up summoning one Judgment Dragon, didn't use the effect, but there's just another 3k beater, and basically what it comes down to is Judgment Dragon plus this, plus this is like so close from game. Like if this card just had that extra 150 or just you had the extra damage somewhere, heck, you can smack him with a Raikou and you'd be able to uh, make it game with uh, that. Like it's a simple concept to go JD and pop the field. And then you go a special on Fairy Tale Snow by banishing the correct targets. And then you go ahead and Hydra Lander them. And then from there, you guys can see that's a very easy set amount of damage. And that's not even including your normal summon. I mean, you guys saw that huge play that we made. We made BLS. Uh, we also made a Minerva. And we went through a lot of different cards, but we still didn't even need our normal summon, which I think is pretty impressive. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's like the main goal of the deck. But yeah, the quick effect to send the top three cards is also just a bonus in general to Light Sworn. I mean, if you hit a wolf, you hit a uh, another card, you're act adding fuel to Fairy Tale Snow's potential. I always think this card is kind of OP, uh, considering it's not like a once per turn. I think this card should be like a once per turn because it's so annoying to deal with in Light Sworn sometimes. But uh, like I mentioned before, like, dude, it's, it's really easy to OTK. I had some other games, but I feel like this one was just a better example, especially since I opened up with Triple Snow. And I, I think we had, like, one solar and one charge. There's games where, like, you know, you open double solars or double charges, and the game is just automatic, easy. Um, I, I don't really recommend this build. Uh, however, I will give it to you guys. I'm just going to mention as a heads up. A lot of times, guys, when I test some of these decks, I will play cards that might be unconventional, like three copies of Reincarnation, just so I can show you guys the Hydra Lander. It is a dark, so it will not work with Beckoning Light. However, Beckoning Light would be a really crazy mix-up in this uh, to make it even better. But anyways, onwards with the deck profile. And if you guys have any suggestions, you guys can let me know down below in the comment section below. But I just picked a, a few. There's a few lights one that I don't really recommend at all. But it's just because they were different names. And I'm like, eh, why not? But uh, let's get started with the deck profile. So we have three copies of the Judgment Dragon, three copies of the Hydra Lander. Otherwise, it wouldn't be Hydra Sworn, uh, which is basically what makes this deck so cool. You have an extra 3k beer that can potentially pop a card and send three extra cards. The three extra cards could be bonuses like, you know, Wolf. Felice, there could be a, a, other bonuses, which is awesome, or just any of the Light Sworn in general, just for more fuel for Judgment Dragon, or actually even more fuel for Fairy Tail Snow. But yeah, so 3-3, three, three, and then I'm playing three wolves, and three wolves is totally fine, because even if you send them to the grave, they don't go to the grave, they actually get summoned anyways, so that actually worked quite well. Plus, again, Fairy Tail Snow makes it so easy to play three copies of everything. I'm playing one Garoth, three copies of Snow, three copies of Raiden, one Lila, three copies of Felice, three copies of Lumina, one, uh, the Dino Wrestler, one Minerva, one Raikou, one, uh, one of the other Raikos. You could have, however, go for a Thrasher, and that would be, like, another, like, target, just in general, just to have extra five names. 
Um, at one point, I was thinking, I didn't try this build out yet. In fact, I had just built this not too long ago. But I was thinking that it might be kind of cool to also try running like one of each of the Lightsworn. But then I was like, dude, Raiden and Luminar are just so key in the Lightsworn like deck that I didn't want to play like one of each. However, what that does offer though is a more consistent variant of actually utilizing Hydra Lander's pop effect because right now it's totally random. I mean, that's just kind of how Lightsworn is at the end of the day, but uh, it is another option if you want to go for it. Uh, but for the spells, I mean, every Lightsworn has to be triple, triple uh, solars, triple charges. Uh, then obviously Monster Reborn. You can also opt to put in Foolish Burial. That's actually a card that I would recommend you playing. Drop one of these cards. Like I said, I just built this really fast. Um, but uh, three copies of Monster Reincarnation, which just so I can add this for consistency. Plus, uh, there was a time, remember guys, when I had a double wolf and I, I had to uh, reincarnation and get back the wolf so I didn't have it in my graveyard. So it does add a little bit of utility. And then I had three Pot of Desires, which I, I always play in Lightsworn anyways because I just feel like the deck is like, you gotta win in like one turn anyways. <laughs> Especially when you're going so fast, but some of those Hydrolanders. Uh, for the extra deck, there's not really anything that I would consider that's out of the ordinary. But uh, here's what I'm playing. I'm playing the Michael. Uh, I'm playing the Sacred Riven Coral, the Utopia lineup. We got Castell, Double Minerva, Cowboy, Skull Deep, Needle Fiber, Black Luster, Boreal Load, Boreal Sword. Like these guys are just, just like generic and like most stuff, anyways. But uh, yeah, that is the Hydra Sworn deck. Let me know, guys. You guys have suggestions but anyways hope you guys enjoyed seeing that fun little deck that i made uh, maybe i'll try it out with like i said i definitely add foolish if you're building this deck yeah don't 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 be like me you can drop this you can drop i don't know a fairy tale snow is too important honestly i if you're playing triple things i'd put this you can honestly drop a judgment dragon if you want to um but definitely play foolish all right well, we're adding this in right now i didn't even notice it wasn't in here. All right, maybe I forgot to save, but this card should be definitely be in here. You can foolish this. You can foolish this. Uh, you can foolish, you know, other cards if you just need an extra target, or you can basically add it back with Monster Incarnation. There's so many plays with it. Just definitely play foolish, though. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh deck ideas and fun stuff like this. And if you guys got any cool replays, feel free to go ahead and send them in. I like seeing newer things. Uh, all the time and this is just a new it's just like one new card but sometimes all it takes is one new card to make it back a lot more popular but anyways thanks for watching guys peace out have a good one i'm signing out